let's take a look at this basic limit that we've got multivariables. Um, at first, we're going to plug in the numbers. We're going to realize that 2 squared minus 2 squared divided by 2 minus 2 leads us to an indeterminate form. We can't really take the L'Hopital method here to figure that out. So let's draw a little graph here. Now, we want to remember in these multivariable limits, we're approaching this point. This is point 0.22. Two. So we're approaching 0.22, two, two, which means we want to draw some lines that we can uh, sort of approach this point. We've got one line that goes there. One line that goes there, and the line that goes there. This line is x equals 2. This line is y equals 2. And this line is y equals x. So now, we can try to solve the limit by approaching that point from a couple different lines. So we'll go with the limit. And the first one is going to be x equal to x, but y is equal to 2. That's going to be this one, y equals 2. We're going to put that in there. We keep x the same. We're going to approach that point 2, 2. And we're going to say x equals x, y equals 2, and then uh, x equals x, and y equals 2. Um, the next one we do is going to be y, uh, x equals 2, that's going to be this one, and then y equals y. And we're going to press the same point, 2, 2. And so now x equals 2, y equals y, and then x equals 2 and y equals y. And then for this last one, we have the limit. Uh, this one is just going to be like y equals x. So x equals x, y equals x. And so we would get uh, x squared minus x squared over x minus x. We can already see that this one's just going to turn out to be indeterminate. So it's not like we can use this. The indeterminates are indeterminate. That means we can't really... We can't determine anything from that, so we have to do other limits to see what happens. So this one's not really going to work, this one's not really going to work. These are the only two that we can try to work with now. So, let's see. If we to solve this, x squared minus 4, divide that by x minus 2, we're going to end up, this will become x minus 2 times x plus 2 at the top. If we cancel these out, we're going to get x plus 2. If we plug in the, the um, x goes to 2 over here then that's just going to equal 4. Nice. And over here, if we plug this in, then we get 4 minus y squared divided by 2 minus y. Same thing's going to happen. We're going to get uh, y plus 2, essentially. And then that, and once that pushes 2, is going to be equal to 4. So it looks like we might have found a limit here. Um, these two we can't really use, but we did find the limit equals 4. And if I plug this little graph into a 3D grapher and take a look at the intersections of these two lines, um, yeah, indeed, that graph is approaching the point 4, so um, we could safely say that the limit is equal to 4.